they, they was a, there was an HTML file. It was a template for what we are going to do. And then there was also an annotated PDF where I indicated which spaces will be filled with what, whether it's an image, whether it's text um, and stuff like that. So, and then I also um, uploaded fonts, but they may not really work that way. I, 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 I don't know, uh, you know, I haven't tried it that way before. So, so I have also a little bit something about fonts. If you had problems downloading any fonts and incorporating them into the file. So that's, that's what I want to do. It's pretty busy. Um, it's going to be pretty busy. So let's start. And I want to hear from you. Were you able to download the HTML and the annotated uh, PDF? And you can, you can type it in the chat if you want to. Okay. All right. Uh, did anybody uh, open the HTML file? And uh, I mean, HTML, the InDesign file and uh, tried and, you know, uh, tried to see whether the fonts are there or not. Okay. All right. So um, we may uh, we may have to do something. Um, okay. All right. Something crossed uh, my screen here. So. So uh, I will also show you how to maybe do the fonts. Um, and uh, what else did I want to do? And then generally introduce you into this interactive PDF. So let's start and I am going to share my screen here. Um, but first I'm going to open no. Okay, and share my screen. Okay, so shares my screen. So this is the template that I um, uploaded to Elms for you to use. It's a very simple one and I intentionally wanted to make it as simple as possible. I am not the author, but I worked with that uh, template before. And um, I, I, think, I think it's going to be uh, useful for you to just you know get an insight just just kind of dip your foot into what uh creating um, interactive pdfs in indesign means and as you will find out there are quite a lot of um, options and possibilities here and so let's start so the first thing obviously um I, uh, I have it already set up here. I uh, uploaded some images here. So, but before you start anything, when you open it, and obviously I already have my fonts all organized. So um, I'll, I'll do the fonts afterwards, okay? Well, maybe not. The way you insert your fonts, and we have here Bevas Neu Open Sans and uh, Railway. The Bevas Neu um, was already on my computer. The Open Sans was here too. And so 
I only had to do the railway and then there was this uh, funny font um, called Titilium text, which I was able to find, but I can't install it for some reason. So uh, let's go and let's first uh, do the font. So Bebas and Railway, you can find on Adobe font. And I already, what you do is you go there, you download them. They should be in your downloads fo folder. And I have here um, a railway. So what I do is I click on the railway, open it, and I have some font version there. Uh, so variable weight, I will click on it and double click. And it brings me this kind of control panel here. And what I do is I just click on install font. And what it, it may ask you, um, it may ask you to uh, give the font access to your computer. So you see here, that's important. That font has to be installed on your computer. And I already have it here installed. And that's why when I opened my, uh, my interactive PDF template, I had no font missing notice. So that, that's how you will install your font. So now we can, go, we can close this one out, close this one out. And so we, we have dealt with the fonts. The next thing is actually, or, or even before the fonts, uh, well, when you open it at the same time, um, we will go to Windows and make sure that our workspace is interactive for PDF. Okay, so I already have it. Uh, I will double click, but maybe uh, see, yeah, it stays there. So interactive for PDF, what it does is it um, opens up uh, here on the side in the properties panel, um, different things that you will need. So it opens the hyperlinks, it opens the book bookmarks and it opens the bottom, um, <laughs> buttons and forms and then a media thing. We are not going to deal with the media in this particular PDF, but um, if I'm teaching this class next semester, the advanced one will do that and we'll do a more advanced um, uh, interactive PDF. So let's start with the bookmarks, okay? Um, I already have several of them here. I'm going to go and just delete all of them. Well, maybe not. Um, I'm going to delete, uh, let's delete this one. Brochure posters, four leaves, we love what we do, by four. Okay, I'll just delete this one. Delete bookmark, okay. Uh, four, uh, four leaves. I just, uh, I wanna show you how to do them. That's why um, I'm deleting them. So delete, okay. So we have, we have in our PDF, we have the title page, which is the home and I, went ahead and I added here uh, just, just an abstract thing, you can do the same. It doesn't mean that all the uh, image spaces you have to fill with uh, images of your project. And that reminds me, I have to make a segue here to images. You have five projects. Five of them will probably give you a good kind of image. And I would encourage you to shoot it 
don't use a PDF or, or even a JPEG of it. I would encourage you to shoot it and shoot it during uh, daytime. You can use your cell phone and the cell phone will give you a high quality. So that's how you also uh, prepare your images. Your images also you have, I'll show you later on that um, if they are too big, you won't necessarily get the correct information, the information you want to have visible. And that's particularly relevant to posters. So that's about images. But let's go back to our bookmarks. And you see, I, I have, so this was my home. This is my home here. And uh, projects, you see, I have my projects. So here, is my project space. Um, so that's my projects. And who am I? Is, um, here. Professor, there's one student who is in the waiting room. Oh, sorry, sorry. And uh, Okay, so I have to stop this uh, participant. Let me see what I can go this. Okay, admit, admit. Okay, thank you for letting me know. Mm. Okay, so, um, so who am I? This is my uh, Who Am I bookmark, and we love what we do is here. So how do I, let's say, make a bookmark for the page uh, that's brochure? Well, first of all, first of all, I am going to click on the page and I'm going to turn on this new bookmark. Click here. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So new bookmark. Okay, new bookmark. So you first go here, new bookmark, and then you click on the page. Okay, click on the page and and uh, say brochure. Ah, brochure. So now we have this bookmark and we have it just kind of, we, <laughs> I demonstrated without really wanting to how it works. So let's go to home. And it's just to big view um, actual size. Okay. So, I'll do one more. It's very easy. The bookmarks are really the the, the simplest um, posters. So what I do is, okay, so here, new bookmark, and I will click on this page and say, Posters. And it's not working, so I'm going to delete it. Okay. But I don't want this. Uh... Click new bookmark and posters. Okay, so that's how it has to be. Click on the page, new bookmark, and then it uh, will give you the, um, the bookmark to that page. So we have brochure, 
and we have who am I, and we have, and then magazine layout would be the, uh, make sure that when you are trying to do a new bookmark, none of these bookmarks are, is highlighted. So first we click on the page and um, new, uh, new bookmark and uh, magazine layout. Okay, so these are the bookmarks. They are very easy. Just make sure you, you don't have any of these highlighted when you are trying to do a new bookmark. And the, the sequence is click on the page or even on, um, you, could do, you can even bookmark this. You can bookmark specific images and then you can uh, interactively join that particular image to something else in your PDF. Okay, so that's, uh, that's what the bookmarks are useful for. Usually we use them for the entire page, but you can also bookmark a certain, um, certain images. Like let's say if this were my uh, eco magazine image, the cover, and then I had a, a same image, but smaller somewhere else, I would both bookmark them as eco uh, magazine. Okay. So, Let's go to um, this place. And I'm going to go to buttons and forms. Uh, and let's see. So we are going to now make a new button here. And we, um, before you can even do anything, you'll go here to the um, hmm. not rectangle. I need something else. Um, frame tool, yeah. Um, and I'll make a little frame here around typography. Okay. So now I put a frame around this and I go to my buttons and forms uh, menu and I see the type. And I will say, this is my text field, okay? And I will name the text field typography. Typography. Now there is an event attached to it. So um, let's see what will be the event. And you see what happened as soon as I uh, kind of identified what type of interactivity it is. And then as soon as I named it, that you have this uh, red dotted outline there. So the event, we are going to add an action. Okay, so we uh, uh, click on the plus sign and we can say, go to destination. That's where it's very useful for you to have your bookmark pages. Okay, you have all kinds of things. Go to URL if you wanted to uh, put a hyperlink here or to video or anything that you see uh, you, you want to. There is also a, in this same kind of uh, interactive uh, feature, you have buttons and forms. The forms I will handle next year. But uh, so we want to go to destination, let's say. Um, and I'm going to say, which destination, um, so it, it's giving me the document and it's uh, here I have home, but maybe I want to go to, um, and I don't have it here. So, okay, I'm going to go to who am I, okay? The page, who am I? So 
I'm not going to check this hidden until uh, triggered. And then I have various PDF options here. And that's very important, okay? So printable, that's important because you don't want when you save it and you are going to save it as an interactive PDF, but you still want it to be printable. And so that if somebody gets the PDF from you, they can click on typography and then they will be taken to, as we said, to who am I? Um, required, we'll check off to uh, not necessarily password, um, and we'll say scrollable, we can have that and we can have multi-line, that's, that's relevant for, um, for let's say boxes of text. So I'm going to click it out here. Now the next thing in your PDF will be font. And I don't really like uh, Minion, that's the default font, uh, font. So let's see what I can give us the railway here. Yeah, I have it here, so I'll put railway. Um, and then font. Don't give it too big a font, uh, font size. Although 12 is okay, okay? So, so we, are, we are done and we have checked everything. Let's, let's um, test this uh, thing and see whether, whether we have succeeded. Um, I'm going to say uh, export. Okay, and I already tried it before, so I have it set up as Adobe PDF Interactive. And I'm going to save it here. Mm. And um, so I'll do all pages. I have it set up as spreads. That reminds me, I want to, wanted to make a comment on some of the submissions for the magazine uh, layout. You saved it as pages, but you should have done it as spreads. It would have brought up your, your layout really much nicer. Mm. And then open in full screen view after exporting. And um, so page transitions from the document. Embed page thumbnails, uh, thumbnails should be uh, checked off. Um, I have here create Acrobat layers, but that's fine. Do not, okay, check include all. Do not do appearance only because that will not bring in any interactivity. Create PDF, okay. So let's see what it will work. I should have tested it first in the file, but let's see. Oh, and now I have all these uh, stupid things here in the PDF. And there is a way, I, I, I know there is a way how we can um, get rid of it. And I will, I will give you instructions on that. So um, I'll just say, okay, for the time being, um, Okay, so, and we said we wanted to go to, uh, and you see, I clicked on typography and it brought me to my page, who am I, okay? So it does work. Um, I will get out of here now and, um, and get out of this PDF. So um, let's say, so that's how you do the buttons. Remember, is there anybody else? No. Um, remember you start with your, with your frame and then you go into the buttons and forms uh, menu. And then you name your type. 
in this case is a text field, but uh, let's say what maybe we can try doing an image. Um, Hmm. Now you see this uh, outline here, the box outline, the red. And that's also very important when you start uh, when you start working on uh, on the images. Make sure you put them all on on the image layers. When you work, when you start typing your text, make sure it's all on your text layer. This lines and shapes is actually the logo. And now I said you you um, you can or you don't need to have an image here. You should at least use some decorative typeface and and do your name nicely here. And uh, if, if you wanted to do a little logo like this, you can do it in, uh, in Illustrator, but I'm not sure we have that much time to spend on that. But anyway, that's where your lines and shapes will go. And of course the background is uh, all these uh, blue, uh, blue boxes. So I'm going to uh, lock my background and go this here and just leave the images and text and I'm going to work on images. And um, let's see, what is this? Oh my. Okay, let's see. I want to hyperlink. Uh, hyperlink what? Okay, so this is my image. Yeah, yeah. Um, and um, so when I click on the hyperlink um, menu, of course, I get my URL option here, and I can um, I can add something there, and I will add. Let me see. I where I have my here. Yeah. I can add. Um, let's say where it will work. D and C design.com okay name and my name okay so bold new form you see it already gave me the name I hyperlinked it so and you see the uh, the green button here it means it works so let me save this. Let's see what I will get there. Maybe we just have to do it from the PDF. Let's let's try it. Hmm. Okay. I guess I can't do it this way. I have to save it again. So it works. What, I, what I'm surprised to see that um, the, the box around typography is showing. And I think there is a way of getting rid of it and I will, I will uh, work on that. So we, we've got, our, um, this, was, this was something that we did, a group of us did um, uh, in one of uh, Nixon's classes uh, for, the uh, 
communication department at USG. It's a website, but uh, so we included all our work there. Uh, we tried to kind of uh, use work from various students. So th this is four of us uh, who worked on it. Um, made. <laughs> So, and you see here that this is a different type of interactivity that is possible on the web, but you can um, reproduce it also in the InDesign uh, with some degree. So this is the four amigos that we, we uh, worked on. And um, okay, uh, one of my pet projects. Okay. Uh, so, So back to our, so it works, um, hyperlinking. That's so hyperlinks, uh, bookmarks, buttons. Now, let's say I want to hyperlink, um, let's say I want to hyperlink this image, but I want to, um, okay. First, I'm going to give it a, a bookmark. And it's a new bookmark, and I'm going to say four leaves. Um, so I bookmark that. And um, and I, I now I have this also bookmark. Like let's see whether I can create a button. Okay, um, a button, and I'm going to say button. And I'm going to call it for leaves. And then we have on the release or tap. You see already I have my um, interactive box here. And what is the action? So this is this is uh, the appearance. This is the normal state, right? And so hmm, go to destination, go to state. Go to page, that's animation. Okay, let's do the destination again. Yeah. And I want to go to four leaves. Let's see whether it will go to the other four leaves. Hmm. No, I, th I think we have to do something else here. Go to Okay, state. No, that's not working for me this way. I think it's just, uh, I can't use the, the button here. So uh, I'm, not, I'm not going to do that. Um, we just need to do um, hyperlink it. Or we can do it as a combo box. All right, do button signature field, text field. Um, no, I Okay. Um, <sighs> okay, I messed this up. So how do I guess?
Okay, so we set that into normal state. I give up. I think I, I messed it up here. Um, maybe I can edit, undo, reset buttons, undo. Okay, um, this didn't work out the way I wanted it to work. So let's, um, and again, I, I will, in addition to this uh, video, I'm going to share with you uh, my own video of what we are doing here and also some other videos of how to handle the buttons, especially with the different states. Um, that's a little bit complicated. I'm not, and I'm not sure that we can really do it, that we will have enough time. So as, as long as you get your images in, you have your bookmarks to pages, you have your hyperlinks um, and um, some simple, you know, uh, uh, like the typography thing here. Mm. So uh, that will, just surface. Um, I wanted to see, and that would be a hyperlink. Let's say, I'll go to layers. And I don't want text, I'm going to do, let's see. I'm going to do lines and shapes. Or maybe images, let's do images. And what I want to do is, I want to, um, let's say, see how we can hyperlink social media. So um, I already downloaded some icons. Um, and And let's say I want um, Twitter. So um, why is it? It's just too big. So I'm going to. It doesn't work. Uh.
So let's say we want to hyperlink it. And um, so we type in here. Dot com. And we did, um, it's not working. <laughs> so we can't do it that way. Oh, because I have a mistake here. All right. So now this should this should take us. Um, obviously, the the icon should be different. There is also a specific font called and um, and typo. And again, I've been trying to get it into my font book and I have it there, but it's not coming in. So when you have that font, you actually use this, um, you, you don't use it hyper, uh, as a hyperlink, um, cancel, go away. But you, you, you do it as a button and let me see whether I can, I can do this as a button. Normal, okay. So go to URL. Okay. So the button is Twitter. Okay, on release or tab. So the action is go to URL and we have it highlighted here. And um, on rollover, we'll give the, um, the URL here. And uh, let's see. And we have the rollover state there already. Um, save and export again. <laughs> okay, so it took me to my own Twitter. Good. Um, so that's how I, I, I believe it's better to do it with the with the buttons. So that's what I wanted to show you today. I just wanted to kind of show you how to do the simple things. And what I want to impress on you is the, the, the process. The process is simply you open the file that I provided on Elms and install, install the fonts. And then before you start any work, you go to window workspace and make sure that you are in the interactive or PDF section. And that will bring up all these options here, uh, uh, hyperlink, bookmark, uh, buttons and forms and media. And uh, you can use uh, for text. Um, actually, I think we should, I now know why this is appearing as a blank on the PDF. Um, let's do it as a, um, as a button. So this also has to be a button. Okay. So rather than text, it should be a button so that it doesn't appear blanked out on the PDF. So, because if you do it as a text, that's actually a function that you will use on those, uh, you know, uh, forms that can be filled out uh, in PDF format. So it's blank so that 
another person can put in um, their information there. So yeah, so don't do it as, as a text field, do it as a button. Um, so that was that. And, uh, and then the images, this, and this is what I wanted to show you. This here was originally one whole piece, the gray uh, thing. And, and also very important when you, you, when you work with this file, make sure that if you are working on an image, you are on the images layer uh, with text on the text layer, okay? Otherwise, you are going to run into trouble and those interactive features will not work because they will be on different layers. Um, so here, as I started to say, the image is that wide, but I wanted to have at least three or two posters here. So, and I already have this, this thing here, uh, the Dan Flavin poster, and you see the red uh, outline here. That's the, uh, that's kind of the holding box for this image. Now let's say I don't like this image. It's too big. I'm not getting, it's a nice poster, but I'm not getting everything inside. Uh, so I have two ways of dealing with that. I go back to my original image and make it smaller, okay? And um, maybe try and make it the size of my frame here. See, there is no frame here, but I do want to have another image here. So that's how you can also separate your, your areas, image areas that are maybe bigger or you want to kind of divide them into more image areas. You use the uh, frame tool here, the rectangular frame tool and you create your image here. And so let me demonstrate something here. So I have this box and I want a, um, I want to place there and I didn't work on the sizes, I have to admit, but intentionally because I think there is something also to learn. So I want to, I'm on my image layer. I go to place and I want to go to my um, images folder. And let's say, uh, I want, uh, I want my eco heap. Uh, where is it? Okay. So I'll open it and you see here, that's, that's a poster, but it's smaller than what I, what I really um, have indicated. So there's one way how you can deal with that. You can, you can just draw the box this way. Okay, and so now I have one poster here and I don't like this poster, but I mean, I like the poster, but it's too big. And there is really very little to be done with it now. Um, so I'm going to just drag it off here. And you see what happens? I just lost it. It's not there. So I just delete it. But I have the option of creating, uh, you know, space for another image here. So again, and let's say I'll put in. Um, uh, So that's uh, another poster. Again, it's kind of smaller than what I need, but at least I have something there. Um, and let's see what I can, yeah. I can do something here. I can readjust it and move it up. 
so that it's within my frame. So that's how you play with your images, okay? Uh, so don't forget the frame because this, the original, the template has, has a one image, space for one image, but you can, you can divide that space into more. And since we had three different posters, so you should have at least three, um, uh, three image uh, holding spaces here. So that's what happens with the, um, let me see. Brochure is here. Um, so we did the uh, social media icons. We did the bookmarks. We attempted some of the uh, buttons and um, um, here, let's say again, it's it's bigger. You should divide it. Uh, also with the text, as I indicated in my um, annotated PDF, you don't need to write so much. Okay, you can you can increase maybe this text here. Let's see how does it how does it work. Well, I have to be on the text layer, right? And um, so I so this is this is how this was done. You see, it's done in two uh, stages. So if you wanted to increase that and uh, have a little text here or just nothing, you can do that. Bifold here, the text for when you have bifold uh, magazine uh, layout and stuff like that, the text that I left there is just for you to use. Maybe you want to say uh, why you decided to do a bifold on, I don't know, cars and uh, what, uh, what software you used. And so the, the, by, this bifold was created in Adobe InDesign, okay? And, uh, and uh, it's, you know, the bifold was created because it was needed for an exhibition, for example, okay? So you can be, you can be creative here, this is just, this is just an idea to give you an idea how to create an interactive portfolio. Um, there are many other ways of, of website and, and much more complicated and sophisticated ways of doing it even in, in design. But this is just the beginning. Normally we would need at least three weeks on this project. You don't have much. So I don't want to burden you with too much, uh, you know, interactive stuff here. If you if you do the hyperlinks, the bookmarks, and some buttons, uh, that would be great. Okay. Um, so I'm going to stop here now, share and um, get your feedback on that. Can we use vectors we find online? Uh, for example, Annabella is asking, um, uh, Vectors for the uh, social media icons are good. What is, you are in the, Nicole? Uh, you, didn't, you didn't get an, a, a calendar information. Normally it's there. Uh, what do you mean by the column of information? Normally, when, when a Zoom uh, meeting is scheduled, all the participants get, uh, get an email saying, you know, this is your Zoom meeting at whatever gives you the uh, link also, and it gives you also the, um, the passwords. So, um, um, no, I don't get that. So what I was talking about is when you go on to Zoom and then you go on to the cloud recordings. Yeah, but why do you, okay. In, in, your, in your Elm screen, you have Zoom, okay? If you click on Zoom, there will be the meetings already uh, uh, kind of scheduled. So you just say join meeting, you don't need a password. No, I meant like the old ones. Yeah, the old ones. 
Okay, all right. Um, and that's good you mentioned because I was going to talk to uh, to uh, Adam about it, but because see, I think it's because he set up the modules uh, for I don't know may, maybe for Bob or or after Bob, I'm not sure. And so a lot of it, like for example, the chat that you have been using, he is the host, <laughs> so. You see, so I'm a little bit in a bind here, but I am going, um, Nicole, I'm going to do my own. I will try and get to that Zoom. It's in the cloud. And maybe it's under, under my, my, my name. I will, I will try and figure that out and make it available to you. If not, and I was going to do it anyway, whether or not this recording is available to, to you, I was going to do my own recording of all, everything that I talked about today, and I will post it to uh, module six. Yeah, so I, I I will work on this. The only thing is that I can't work on it right now because I have another Zoom uh, meeting scheduled in uh, one thirty and then at two. Okay, so uh, I will work on that, I promise you. Okay, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Um, and, and it is recording here, so it's recording. So maybe when I end the meeting, I will get, I will get the link to this thing. So yeah, we'll deal with that. I, I know you need to see and to be able to uh, see it as, many demonstrations of this as necessary and and just for you to know this this is this is just you are dipping your feet into it and i don't want you to be uh, uh kind of uh, you know scared about the project or you know feel rushed just do as much as you can this we don't have enough time for it to do it really really well but we will try and I also wanted to say before we leave, I was very pleased uh, about your response to even me coming, you know, um, on kind of on deck basically um, after, you know, this unfortunate uh, um, event that I still can't get over it and you, you, you lost some time, but you were very um, diligent, all of you. You are trying your best. I see it, and I try to reward it in your grades. And uh, your grades also uh, often, often uh, reflect your creativity. And I've seen a lot of, you know, a lot of kind of, uh, not enthusiasm, but I think you are trying your best under very difficult uh, situation and and uh, so for this last project it's just like the last hooray for the semester I want you to relax and just enjoy doing it it's it's a little bit uh, more than just um, normal message design but it's something that uh, I'm sure you will find very useful and if I do teach the uh, courses next semester I will do much more. I will do the forms and a more, more complicated um, interactive PDF. Okay, so I was trying to, uh, someone is in the waiting. Does anyone, okay, I have another class so I'll leave by, okay, Annabella has left. Um, can we use vectors? And I was trying to talk to that. Um, for the icons, yes. Uh, I would, um, I would, try not to use vectors here, but you have your own projects. Can you not just take uh, the iPhone or your camera and just take a nice picture of that? Do it outside, don't do it under, under a lamp, okay, inside in the evening. Do it outside during normal light so you get, you get a really sharp, nice image. You should use really, because this is your portfolio, it's, it should show the breadth of your skills, not only in typography, but also in being able to put uh, images and type together so that they both uh, 
have the same message. They communicate the same message, okay? So um, so I am going, it's, yeah, it's five minutes past 12. I'm going to end this session. I have made you uh, many promises and I'll try and keep them and upload stuff um, as soon as possible, if not this evening, uh, but you will definitely see something this evening and then tomorrow evening. I have my own classes today and tomorrow, so, um, uh, but I will try and fit it in. So, bye everybody. I actually had one last question. Yeah. Um, so, just wanted to double check, when is this actually due? Yes, uh, good question. You know, I am, I have to admit, I don't know. <laughs> but um, as far as I know, um, the uh, uh, the original for the other class was December 10th, the, not you. So I am, why don't we agree? And I'll check it on online, but I, I, um, kind of, I suspect that it's December the 10th. And again, that was something that Adam did. And then I went in and changed some dates, but I will look at it. Uh, December the 10th, the, the reason being is that uh, the semester ends officially, I believe, on the 14th or 15th, and I have only one or two days afterwards to uh, submit the grades. So I gave the other class no later than December 13th, and I will honor this here as well. Let me go online, check it, and change it, okay? Okay. All right. Um, any other question? Um, Miss Ose, I might have already missed it, but um, if we can't find the funds that you use, because the ones that you um, that you posted on the Elms, mm -hmm. and I can download them and I can install them, but some of the ones that you use already on the on the um in design is not available on my um, computer uh, mm -hmm. on my device so can we just change that to something else and, and use like our own phones okay well the the bebas noy and the railway uh railway they are in adobe fonts and mm -hmm. if you because you are a student at uh, umd you have access to the um to the uh suite to the Adobe uh, Creative Suite or whatever it is with all the applications. So, and also that gives you uh, access to fonts. You don't have to pay for them. Uh, so, um, I, I, you can look for fonts that are similar because if you, if you uh, do, uh, let's say, a totally different font for that screen where we love what we do, and your font is much bigger or this thing, it's going to screw up that screen. That's my problem, okay? Um, has, has anybody tried to download the fonts? What I can also do, and again, Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, I can email the fonts to you and then you, you download them to your download uh, folder and do what I, I don't know whether you were here, but I showed how to uh, install fonts on your computer. So that's another thing. Let me, let me make a note. So how to install fonts install fonts, okay, and um, um, and then, uh, so buttons, I have to deal with that, buttons, and um, and the social media um, stuff, and that's Antipo. So, um, yeah, I will be, I will be sending you, you know, information and, 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 um, and short videos, you know, 
as soon as I kind of have it all here at my end um, organized. Uh, okay, because um, I, I can, I could download and I already installed the ones that's on Elms. It's, but it seems like I'm still missing like four fonts and they're not available. Um, I think one of them is like the open sun. Oh, okay. Yeah, that it's one, it sun. might it might be available or like on like Mac or something like that, but I don't use Mac. Um, okay, so open sun yeah. also should be on um, either Google Docs or Adobe. It's not a very, um, unusual font. It's not like the titilium or whatever that is, and the antipo, which, which is the one that they normally use for the social media. So there are, there are some fonts that are difficult to get. But try downloading from Adobe or, uh, or Google Fonts. Google Fonts, I think you, you will find also very useful. Or, uh, download the Open Sans. You definitely need it for, this, for the small text. Okay. Okay. So, and, and as usual, you, you can email me, although sometimes I spend two, three hours just trying to respond to people, but I, I'm not complaining. I like it that you are, you know, you are sharing your, your issues and, and don't just, you know, keep them there and then say, okay, well, so that's it. Uh, Thank you very much for all your work until now. And we are in the last kind of stretch and we will do just fine, okay? All right, bye everybody. Thank you, Professor. Okay, bye. Have a good day. Okay.